Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For those of you who are first learning Photoshop, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make the look of torn paper from scratch. This document is 1000 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click on the foreground color. I'm typing in 42% for brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with the new foreground color. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill this layer with white, and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. We'll make the amount 10%, Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll make the radius 3 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command plus B to call up color balance. We'll slide the yellow to minus 52. This gives our paper texture a nice warm cast. We're ready to make our tear. Call up your lasso tool and go to a side of your document. Draw a ragged line to the other side. Without releasing your cursor, continue drawing around the outside of your document until it connects with your starting point. Click on the Layer Mask button and that will create a layer mask over your paper texture. Go to Filter, Brush Strokes, and Spatter. The Spatter window will open. We'll choose 15 for the spray radius and 8 for the smoothness. Remember, depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may want to change these numbers. We'll make a copy of this layer. Press Ctrl or Command plus J. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up your Levels window and slide the input midtones to 0.61 and the output highlights to 244. So now our top paper texture is slightly darker than the one below it. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your Transform tool and go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out. Press the up arrow key a few times to move the transform up and the left arrow key a few times to move it left. Then press enter or return to accept the transform. Click on the top layer mask to make it active and go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. We'll blur it by one pixel. Click on the lighter texture layer to make it active and click on the FX button. We'll give it a drop shadow. We'll make the opacity 30%, the distance 9, and the size 8. With just a few filters and a couple of transforms, we created the look of torn or ripped paper. Now I'll show you how to add text to it and make it look torn as well. Click on the top layer and call up your type tool. Click on the character text box and choose a font. Click on the color box and pick a color. I'm just choosing black. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, call up your move tool, click on your text and move it. We need to mask out the parts of the text that should be torn off with the paper. Go to the top layer mask and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will make a selection of it. Then click on the layer mask icon. Since our text layer is active, it placed the layer mask next to it. Click off the chain link between the text layer and its layer mask. Now you can move the text around and the layer mask will remain in position. Click on the text layer to make it active and press V to call up your move tool. Now you can move your text around and no matter where you position it, the parts below the tear are masked out. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Hopefully you picked up a few tricks and tips to help you on your way to learning Photoshop. Thanks for watching.